After losing his mother to dementia, renowned Canadian author, broadcaster, and member of the Order of Canada, Jay Ingram, decided to lend his voice to the crusade to put some light and some heat on the stigma surrounding the condition during Alzheimer Awareness Month. That's January. And we welcome Jay Ingram to the show now here on CP24 Breakfast. Jay, good morning. Hi, George. How are you? Very well. It's good to see you. Thanks for, for giving us some time. Jay, Jay let's start with, with your mom's story. I mean, you lost her to dementia back in 2005. Yep. Tell us about the initial shock of that diagnosis. You, you know, it's um, sometimes it isn't really a shock, George, because it, it can come on very slowly. So I, I was starting to realize a few years before that, let's say maybe three or four, um, she and my father came to visit when I was living in Toronto. We were uh, visiting together up north, and it became clear to me that she had no idea where she was, why she was where she was. And... Um, you know, that, so that was an inkling of what was going to happen. And then um, I just had to prepare myself for the fact that uh, she likely uh, wasn't going to improve. So it wasn't so much a shock. I, I think the shock is, is, is as much reflecting on yourself and how am I going to deal with this uh, as it is seeing a loved one, uh, you know, start to live with dementia. Yeah, it's a mirror and a door at the same time. Absolutely. Um you're a writer, you journal, you, you, know, you, you put pen to paper, uh, you, you, you've written a book. Tell us about that process. So, you know, people always, uh, I mean, I'm a science guy, so I, not only because my mother was living with dementia, but I was interested in it as a, as a super important scientific puzzle because, mm -hmm. you know, in, increasing numbers of, there's probably six to 700,000 Canadians living with dementia right now. And I felt, and I still feel, that people don't really understand the condition. Now, um, does the condition help you, if you have a loved one in that situation, does that help you? I think, I think it can. But, uh, you know, what we're really on to with this campaign is to uh, really inform people that the person living with dementia who has changed in some ways that right. you recognize is still the same person. You know, they still have emotions. They have lived a life with you or you've lived your entire life with them if it's your parents. And uh, it's just very, very important that until we get really effective treatments, which we don't have now, um, surely uh, we should all work hard to try and make them as comfortable and happy uh, as possible. Um, I saw this intimately with my father because I didn't live in the same uh, city as my parents. Really, my father was my mother's main caregiver. And if you can imagine, he was two years older than she was. So he was in his mid-90s. Wow. going to a long-term care home every day. And, and you know, what struck me most was that he would look for any tiny sign that she was having a good day. And, and that's right. his phrase, right, having a good day. And, and even if she smiled for just a moment, that made his life better. And for all we know, because she, at that point she wasn't communicating very well, it made her life better too. And... I'm telling you, I, I know what caregiving uh, for someone living with dementia is like, and it's as important that the caregiver feels good because absolutely. it takes a huge amount of energy. Oh. I mean, you're absolutely right. It's both a door and a, a mirror. And, you know, there, there are some things that it takes a while for us to learn, like don't correct them if they right. think that, um, you know, there's somebody hovering at the door or don't mm -hmm. tell them, oh, don't forget, don't forget this and don't forget that if their memory is declining as it usually is. Yeah. Caregiver fatigue is certainly another symptom of, of this insidious disease. And, you know, it's a parallel journey. And you're right, the balancing act of allowing, you know, people with dementia the dignity to, you know, sit with the emotional pain, to accept, you know, the struggle, but to hold on to some independence, that's part of this process. Jay Ingram, the book is uh, The End of Memory. Thank you for your time and, and opening up. It's, uh, it, it's uh, helping a lot of people to talk about this. Appreciate your time. Have a good day. Thank you, George. All right.